This is Chris. Today, I want to talk about my experiences using autofocus on these Lumix cameras, all right? So I'm currently using an S5 and I've got two S1s that I use when I'm filming weddings. I have filmed about maybe eight to 10 weddings using all three cameras. And my experience with autofocus, it's been great. I'm not gonna lie. It hasn't been absolutely perfect. Like it's not Sony, it's not Canon, but it's been great. It's been usable. It's been reliable to me. And I know that's a big statement to say, but to me, it's been reliable. It catches focus when I need it to catch focus in high contrast and low contrast, filming at 4K24, filming at 4K60. I mean, it just works for me. Like right now I'm using autofocus. I'm using the 20 to 60 kit lens on the S5 and my settings are, I use one area with human detection. I set the box to the second smallest size that it'll go. And I got my custom settings at negative one, negative three. And that setup is the exact same setup I've got across all three of my cameras. And no matter what lens I'm using, exact same settings. And for me, it's been the exact same performance. It's been reliable on these Lumix lenses. Like right now, obviously the kit lens, the 50 that I use, the Lumix 50 1.8, or the Lumix 85 1.8 has been great. And recently I have filmed about maybe uh, three or four weddings using the, the Sigma 24 to 70, exact same settings, exact same results. It's been great. And I filmed about maybe two weddings using the Sigma 35 1.4, exact same settings. And it's just worked, right? Like it works. It's gonna come back to me. Did it come back? Did it come back? It came back. It works. Let me walk out of the frame. It works. Don't believe online hype. Don't believe that you must film in autofocus. I use a combination of autofocus and manual focus on all three cameras when I'm filming a wedding. I'll let the autofocus catch my subject. So whether it's a bride or a detail, I'll let it catch and then I'll switch it into manual focus. That way I'm not like constantly pulling focus all day long, but at the same time, I'm not like all day hoping and praying to God that the autofocus works. Like that to me is the perfect balance between the autofocus performing the way I hope it does and I want it to, and I need it to, and me having control to draw the attention to the things that I need to draw the attention to. And it's made me a better videographer versus if I would have just stayed with Sony and just kept using autofocus as a crutch, all right? So that has been my autofocus experience using these Lumix cameras. I think you should try it out for yourself, rent a Lumix camera, borrow a camera from somebody, and try it out for yourself. And I guarantee that you'll be blown away by the image quality, by the specs that you get out of these cameras for the price. Like it's crazy what I can do with my S5, with my S1s internal, now even external versus what I could have done with my a7 III, my a7C and a7 IV and FX3. It's crazy. And to me, my image looks way better coming out of these Lumix cameras than they ever did out of anything I shot on Sony, all right? That's me, that's been my experiences with Panasonic and the autofocus, all right? If you got something you wanna say, you wanna comment, you wanna agree with me, leave it in the comments. You wanna disagree with me and tell me, call me that I'm crazy, leave it in the comments. But either way, leave a like on this video, subscribe, help me get to a thousand subscribers and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, all right? Peace.